Hi everybody, it's Az here from Hill vs Babyface and look at this, at the beautiful aerial view of our farm. But if we pan left, this is the Kansas of Pandaria. This is its bread basket. And this is where all the 10 members of the Tillers are residing. But more importantly, this is where you'll also find the highest concentration of dark soil patches. Now, as we're seeing from some other videos, or if you haven't seen, dark soil patches contain items, and these items can be given to the various members of the tillers as gifts. So if I just start to fly around, there we go. There's a dark soil patch right there. And they are in absolute abundance. So it all depends on who you're fighting against, how many people in their area. From me walking around here and flying around here, I came across about maybe four or five i was relatively lucky of other people farming for these dark soil patches but they tend to to almost instantly respawn in other places once you've picked them and as you can see i've just jumped and got three very very quickly indeed now i spent roughly two hours flying around picking as many of these patches as humanly possible and now i'm going to show you where all the 10 members of the tillers are based so if i just jump onto the main map so you can see exactly where i am in relation to harfil and the heartland that's what it's called this kansas breadbasket type of area and you can see me at the uh, western southwestern area and we're going to meet up with a, a lady called ella but just to inform you a little bit more on the gift side there are 10 members of the tillers but only five gifts and these gifts are made up of the Jade Cat, Marsh Lily, Ruby Shard, Lovely Apple, and finally the Blue Feather. Which means that members of the Tillers are going to share the same favourite gift. They will all accept any gifts and you will get a rep based on that. But they all have a special gift which they like. And you'll gain extra rep for giving it to them. So there are the gifts that we can provide. But at the bottom you'll see what gifts do you like. Is this going to give any hints and tips? These can actually be misleading conversations. I tried it with a couple of them and they actually sent me down the wrong pathway. If you look at the top where you've got the heart and your rep. It will say there what their favourite gift is. Which is a bit daft please. Bit of a giveaway. You could have uh, you know, let us find out by trial and error. But there we go. So I give a Jade Cat to Ella, and I get 1,080 rep. Remember, I'm also gilded and human. If I was non-human and non-gilded, I would be getting 900 rep for giving them a special gift. And if we just jump up the hillside and we come to Old Hillpaw, he likes himself a blue feather. So if I give him a blue feather, voila, 1,080 rep for you as well. Now, slightly further down the road, we come to Chi-Chi. Oh, my Hosen friend. I do love the Hosen. Blizz, why weren't the Hosen a playable race? You've just, you've missed out there. There should have been Pandas, Hosen, and those stupid fish people for the Alliance. Oh, wait a minute, I am Alliance. God damn it. Right, now Chi-Chi also likes himself a blue feather. So, if I were you, I would personally choose one of those persons to go ahead with. But if you stay tuned for tomorrow's video, I'm going to go through which part people in the Tillers give you quests based on your rep or the your rep with them. So now we're going to meet up with a lady called Sho and she's here, but she's not. Aha. But there is a note here and it says that she's gone to Half Hill Market or she's dead. Well, she's not dead. She's at Half Hill Market. And that's because every day, two random members of the Tillers will go to Half Hill Market. They will leave their base of operation and always be at Half Hill. So if you go to where they're meant to be and they're not there, don't panic. Just go to the Half Hill Market, which you'll see towards the end of the video. And they will be somewhere in there, either eating or drinking or chatting or... Yeah, best left that one alone. Now, <laughs> if we head to the jetty we're going to come across the tiller with the most stupidest name in history and it's fish fell reed i mean who who calls their daughter fish apart from a very very pissed off parent did she come out of her mother sideways or something anyway she also likes jade cats but what if i were to give her 
her a gift but not her favorite one so if i gave her a marsh lily look how much the rep goes down it goes down by 400 odd look at the size of that fish it's huge wow me want to get so <laughs> so let's move away from fish stupid name fish and this is where the second member is meant to be this is another one of the uh mud paw clan but they're not stood here and i can't see a note so again not to panic this must mean that this person here is at the half hill market and if uh, you're observant you would have also seen a dark soil patch by that mushan but inside is little tina mudclaw and tina mudclaw would like some gifts and she's a big fan of the ruby shard so let's give her one of those there you go tina i'll have 1080 rep thanking you and then just to the left of tina over on that patch hasn't quite phased in yet is farmer fung i do believe yeah there you go farmer fung and farmer fung is a big fan of the marsh lily so we'll give him one of them and we'll get ourselves some nice sexy rep come on farmer thank you please so because everyone else that I need to speak to is going to be based in or around the Half Hill Market, let's head there, which means flying over our little farm. Oh, look at it. This is lovely. Oh, my carrots there. Oh, you can't see. Never mind. So, <laughs> so first things first, here is How Han Mudclaw. This is the chat that was meant to be stood uh, next to the building where Tina was in but he's here so let's hand him a ruby shard as well he likes them there's gina mudclaw and she's also the quartermaster and she gives you the lovely things and tina likes herself a marsh lily so let's give her a marsh lily thank you and then show who was meant to be at the hosen village but decided to pop into town is very much alive and enjoying a few drinks and she likes herself a lovely apple mm -mm -mm. you got a beautiful couple of cherry apples there show yeah that was horrendously disturbing i know so <laughs> let's move to the final member of the tillers and this is jogu the drunk and he likes himself a lovely apple as well but preferably complete and utterly soaked in vodka so there are the 10 members of the tillers their locations and which gifts they prefer but do remember you can give them any gift and you will get rep it's just that the gifts they prefer will give you a lot more rep so i'll be back tomorrow with a video on which one of those people give quests and also those quests so i hope you enjoyed please do like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back later take care everybody Bye bye